something for him because he was taking so much heat from people like us in this room who are putting it on the Mike Mazzolios and the Jim Sewards and the Kathy Youngs. So they came up, they concocted this memorandum of understanding, saying we're not going to do the ammunition database checks when you go buy a box of ammo. You know what? They weren't going to do it anyhow. They don't have the, they do have the money, they don't have the technology. The state police has spent eight million dollars of your money trying to get the ammunition database going, and they can't figure out how to do it. So when Andrew Cuomo said, well, okay, big concession, we're not going to do the ammunition database check, he couldn't do it anyhow. It was nothing but a public relations maneuver to try to save the hides of the Jim Stewart's and the Mike Mazzolios and the Kathy Young's. And we didn't fall for it because we are not as dumb as my Andrew Cuomo seems to think we are. And if they want to continue that kind of public relations gimmick, we're going to send them a message next year. We need to find candidates to run against those Republicans. We need to take back some of these assembly seats, especially those around Syracuse that are occupied by Democrats who all voted for the same thing. And we need to make sure... A month or two ago, Senator, uh, the, the Majority Leader, as well as Senator Nazolio and Senator Seward had this uh, nonsense with the uh, memorandum of understanding claiming that changes have been made to the New York SAFE Act when indeed there is no change whatsoever to the New York SAFE Act. Uh, what is your position on that? I, because I've actually heard you, I, I think I have heard you quoted as kind of saying nothing's changed. I don't know why they're saying that. The question was that uh, there was a memorandum of understanding rather than a law being passed to change the SAFE Act. Uh, some colleagues in the Senate were saying that it's it's better, it's it does something. Uh, I didn't support that that negotiation because I think in reality it is nothing. If unless the law is changed by a law, it's not effective at all. A memorandum of understanding is only three people agreeing on something that anybody can back out of. So, and I think that after this debate went on, after it was the member of man of understanding was talked about, I think the governor even backed off of it, which should prove the point. So, um, uh, that's, I said it at the time, and I'll repeat it now, that I didn't think it meant uh, a hoot.